Hey guys, Professor Doni back here again. Uh, we're now talking about torque, and uh, we're going to do a little seesaw problem here. Uh, what we've seen is that torque can, is equal to force times a lever arm or distance. We could make that F times R. And if force is a mass, like a person sitting somewhere, we have to take that force and make that mass into a force of gravity by multiplying by gravity times distance. So it becomes MGD. And it'll have units of Newton's force, a uh, Newton's meter, sorry. So we're going to look at here is this little simple balance uh, seesaw, I guess. There's our fulcrum or pivot point. It's not in the center. If you've ever been to the old style ones, they have these little scalloped section that you can actually pick where you put that balance point. Um, at least in the old one I used to go to at my hometown park. But let's say it's over here. It's offset. And on this left end, we're going to put a smaller child of 20 kilograms. On the right end, we're going to have the adult who's 100. And we have the seesaw that is 50. Okay, The actual board or the weight of the seesaw is 50. Now, if we look at where these are all located, the uh, kid is all the way in the end, so that's fine there, and the adult's over there. How are we going to deal with the seesaw? Well, the seesaw mass has to go right at its center, meaning halfway, if it's a common geometric shape, which is symmetrical. So we have to add the 50 as if it was a person sitting right there. Now, what we're trying to find out is, is this balanced? Okay. If we set it up this way, will the person sitting there and a the little kid sitting there with this offset be enough to make this balanced? Now, for it to be balanced, what has to happen is all the torque going this way or counterclockwise has to equal all the torques going the other way. To say it another way, we have to sum all the torques and then equal zero. That would mean that the net torque is zero and that means the angular acceleration is zero. What does that mean? That means there's no spin. It will not rotate. So what that is saying is basically that it's balanced. So what we're going to do is look at all the torques on the left versus the torques on the right. Basically use the equation. Now, if I know where the balance point is, if I know that it's fixed, where it, which we do right here, the fulcrum, then what I'm going to do is make that equal sign my fulcrum point. Okay? Everything that sits on the left side will go over on this side of the equation. Everything that sits on the right side of that fulcrum will go on this side of the equation. And we just check to see if they're equal. So going from the left, we're going to have the torque of the kid one plus the torque of the seesaw, because that center of mass sits on that side, has, does it equal the torque set up by number two over here? Oops. Oh, it's getting out of hand there. Torque over 2. Alright, so since they're given as masses, it has to be mass times gravity. That's going to end up being the child, which is 20 times gravity. I'll put a G there, time its distance. Now this distance is from the fulcrum point. So we measure everything from there, so that's 6. The seesaw is going to be 50 times gravity, and it's at only 1 meter. Right? It sits over here at halfway to 5. And we're asking, is that equal the torque of the second person, which is 100, times g acting at 4? Now, you'll notice that I just put in g. I didn't put in 9.8 uh, like we normally would. Because if you'll see, everybody has a g in here. So to simplify this solution, I'm just going to divide out by g all the way across. That's going to make the math a little easier. All right, so what do I have? 120 here plus a 50. Does that equal 400 on this side? Well, we can go here further. 170 does not equal 400. This one is greater, so we expect it, it's going to tip clockwise. All right, so how do we deal with that? Well, we can real quickly put a third person. We'd have to put them on this side. And to find out where they would go, what we would do is say 60 acting at some distance we don't know, plus the others, the 20 times 6 plus the 50 times 1 equals the 100 times 4, and we end up solving 4x. That becomes 400 minus 170, that's 230, divided by 60. Do it real quick here. 3.8, running out of time, 3.8 meters from the end, it'll be back.